What's going on to all of my uh, Geminis out there? So let's get into it. So you have the uh, Two of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Strength card, Justice, Five of Cups, Nine of Cups, the Emperor, the Star, the Three of Cups, and the Magician. So sorry, I was just I was just wiping some dirt off my jacket there. But um, so for you uh, Gemini's. You Gemini's happen to be in a situation where a lot of you are the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Strength. So, I mean, I mean, this person, though, that some of you Gemini's are trying to get to know honestly it's a waste of y'all time trying to get to know them the two of pentacles the three of swords and the strength is about how these people just can't they're 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 dysfunctional they're highly dysfunctional like this is you trying to get to know them right trying to you know what i mean trying to see what it is that you can do with them trying to see if there's a chance that you can grow with them. And this is them ultimately showing their dysfunctionality. They, you know, they're not, they're not fit to be in a relationship at all. Okay. They're not fit to be in a relationship at all. They've got this going on, that going on. They may have even have told you, Gemini's, they've got this going on, that going on. But again, a lot of you Gemini's are trying to figure out like, OK, you're trying to be patient, see what it is that you could potentially do with this person, because I get it. A lot of you Gemini's want to see if the person is a diamond in the rough. You want to see if that there's a chance that this person can actually turn their own life around. Right. The justice. You want to see if this person can turn their own life around. You want to see if they have potential for themselves forget about a relationship but you're trying to see if this person has potential for themselves if there's a chance that they could pull their own self out of the situation five of cups and they can't because they live here the five of cups is where they live dysfunction and the nine of cups is a, the nine of cups is is and them stunting like they don't want that, you know, because like I said before, I, I actually made a video that that uh, didn't get aired this week. But the video is a lot of people in the dating pool and stuff like this. A lot of people ultimately, the, a lot of people are ultimately capping. A lot of people are ultimately lying. You know, a lot of people have this perspective of they get with somebody that's good. And then they and then they complain so much about why they can't find anybody good, but then they but then they act like they're blind to people who are good that are right in front of their face or the people that they know. And then they and then they don't a lot of people don't really understand how much of a slap in the face that is, right? And that's the same type of game that this person is trying to run on you. It's the idea that this person is like. Where have all the good Gemini's gone, right? Or more, more accurately, where have all the good people gone? And you Gemini's are trying to get to know them, right? But here they are with their own dysfunction rearing its, its own head, right? Because they've got dysfunction, uh, dysfunctionalities. They're one, they're one taco short of a combo meal, right? And, Lights are on, but there's not a lot of people home. And they're trying to make their way to you. Or you're trying to build something with them. But the 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 em uh, excuse me, the emperor represents there's something that you're missing though. And the thing that a lot of you Geminis are missing is the understanding that ultimately this is a lost cause. You can't engage with people who are too far gone like this they're delusional 
And to have individuals that are so far gone like that to the point where they do stuff like this, they get into they get into disagreements with you and then they turn that into a, a, a situation and then they trying to. T why? And this is and this let and see good people are the kryptonite of the people who are out here playing games. It's the idea that when you meet a good person, you have to treat them right. Because if you don't treat them right and you start wilding out, you look dysfunctional because the person is so good to the point where you can't act like the person is wilding out on you or the person is dysfunctional because they're that good. So it says it, it, everybody will start to look at the other person funny style. And that's why it is I, I suggest for all of you to, to take the best approach that you possibly can. Take the good approach because that is your saving grace. Because when you're not doing anything to anybody and they can't stop themselves but act like they don't have any self-control, then you really start to see who it is. Because see, what happens is when you mix in your lack of self-control with theirs, yeah, you can say, anyone can say, yeah, well, y'all both did stuff. But see, the, the waters get clear now when you say, you know what, I'm going to refrain from, from being dysfunctional and I'm going to treat you like I treat anyone with respect. But for you, I'm going to treat you extra special because you're someone that I'm trying to get to know romantically. And they still wild out like that. That lets you know, oh, you you really out of it. That lets you Gemini's know that person's really out of it. Because the star card now here represents this person is trying to like. Trying to trying to wiggle their way into your heart, so to speak, they're trying to like figure out a way like, oh, they're showing you their dysfunction their dysfunctionality, but at the same time, they still want you to hang out with them on that level, knowing good and well that they're like this. They're, they're untrustworthy, and if you were to get into a relationship with them, they would probably cheat on you. Well, the magician represents you, Geminis, and the magician is, is Mercury too, right? Or Scorpio, depending on the reading, but obviously it represents Mercury. So this is about you, Gemini's, knowing if you get with these people, obviously, you know what's coming next. If if you found value in this reading, that is mean it's time for you to come through and get a personal reading from me. The link to my website, in which you can get any one of my services, my Instagram page, my Teespring store, which you can pick up any of the apparel, the apparel that I have, as well as my books that are on Amazon. All four of those links are in the comment section below. Thanks. But then you have the, like I said, the magician is, but you Geminis know what time it is. So you're looking at it from a perspective of common sense, right? And, and I'm glad that y'all are doing that because that's the perspective that you should be looking at, looking at as the idea that people who put themselves out there on front street are getting caught up now because when people don't trust them, they get mad. Like, why are you getting so mad that people don't trust you? Everybody knows what time it is. Everybody knows that you're playing a game. And I'm, I'm not saying you Geminis. I'm saying them. Everybody knows that they're playing a game. They put themselves out there. Bad advertisement, advertisement, right? Whenever they talked about themselves, they were proud of the egregious thing, right? The strength. They were proud of the egregious things that they did. They put themselves out there like this. Why are they getting so caught up that you Geminis? Listen to this. You did the wise thing and you're like, I'm done with you. I'm not going to hang out with you. What? Seriously? They're upset now. Oh, I don't understand why. You just told me why I can't trust you. Why would I want to hang out with you? Like I said, they're not necessarily the brightest bulb on the tree, Gemini. They're not necessarily the brightest bulb on the tree. So let's clarify the... Uh, Let's clarify the magician and then get out of here. The, the full Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, <laughs> the Page of Pentacles. Right. You skipped 
Right, the fool. You skipped out on a lot of unnecessary problems. You you looking at it like you just told me exactly from the very beginning why you're dysfunctional. Why would I want to hang out with you when you just told me how dysfunctional you are? You just gave me what I wanted to know. And that's and and you know that you're rising to a level where you're becoming that good is when you're able to get information out of a person and a person is literally telling you I'm bad for you and I'm bad to be in the dating pool. And you're, and you're able to take that and be like, no, nah, I'm not even rock with you. I'm good. That means that you don't need to get to know these people any longer. A lot of the times where people end up getting messed up is they still continue to get to know people longer than that, you know, after that. But then the 10 of Pentacles is they're not, you know, that they're not going to bring any substance. You've already asked them the question. And they've already given you the answer. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Um, trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop videos like this.